Permutations and Factorial Notation In this module, you will learn about the permutation and factorial notation. A man visit an ATM to withdraw money. He starts arranging the digits 7, 1, 8, 5 in different ways to form different numbers. He makes all the possible arrangements of the given numbers where the order is important. There are 24 ways of arranging these digits. Let us count. There are 4 places to arrange the numbers, keeping in mind that repetition of digits is not allowed. The first place can be filled in 4 different ways by any of the numbers 1, 5, 7 and 8, following which the second place can be filled in by any of the remaining three numbers by three different ways. Following which, the third place can be filled by two different ways. Following which, the fourth place can be filled in one way. So, the total number of ways to arrange the given digits is 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 is equal to 24 ways. We write the multiplication of 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 as 4 factorial. Now, what if the numbers can be repeated? Then, there are 4 different ways to fill the first place by any of the numbers 1, 5, 7 and 8. Following which, the second place can be filled in by any of the remaining 4 numbers in 4 different ways. Following which, the third place can also be filled in four different ways. Following which, the fourth place can be filled in four different ways. So, the total number of ways to arrange the given digit is 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4, which is equal to 256 ways. In order to make our work more compact, we bring in a certain notation which is called factorial. As we see, 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is called 4 factorial. In the same way, we write 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is 5 factorial. We can also write 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4, into 3, into 2, into 1, that is, 8 factorial. In the similar way, we generalize the above result as, the continued product of first n natural numbers is called the n factorial and is denoted by an exclamation mark. n factorial is equal to 1 into 2, into 3, into so on up to n minus 1 into n. Let's recap. Permutation is an arrangement of all the objects 
with regard to the order of the arrangement. For example, suppose we have a set of vowels A, I, E, O, U. We might ask in how many ways can we arrange them? Each possible arrangement would be an example of a permutation. In case 1, repetition of letters is not allowed. The total number of ways is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, which is equal to 120 ways. In case 2, repetition of letters is allowed. The total number of ways is 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 which is equal to 3125 ways.